Iowa lawmakers Tuesday passed a law banning most abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy, weeks after the state Supreme Court deadlocked on whether the state's current ban was enforceable. The bill's passage sets up another legal challenge as abortion rights groups said they would fight the new law. Republicans hold large, minor, large majorities in both the state house and Senate, and Governor Kim Reynolds last week called members back for a marathon one-day special session with the sole intent of passing an abortion ban. In a statement announcing the special session, Reynolds decried the inhumanity of abortion and said Iowa lawmakers will not rest until the unborn are protected by law. I believe the pro-life movement is the most important human rights cause of our time, Reynolds said. The bill will take effect immediately when Reynolds signs it, further ending abortion access across the Midwest, where it is clear already limited. Abortion is banned in almost all cases in the neighboring states of Missouri, South Dakota, and Wisconsin, though the Wisconsin law is being challenged. That's so sad about Wisconsin. That was one of they used to be a, a bastion of progressivism. Um, the legislation bans abortion after the detection of fetal cardiac activity, which is usually around six weeks of pregnancy. Currently, abortion is legal in Iowa up to 22 weeks gestation. Rush Richardson, president and CEO of Planned Parenthood North Central States, and even though said even though abortion has remained legal in Iowa, residents don't know the type of care that are available to them. The reality of a constantly shifting landscape has created a manufactured state of confusion that has harmed patients, Richardson said during a recent press briefing. Richardson said there's been a significant increase in the number of people traveling to Minnesota where Governor Tim Waltz has embraced abortion rights protections. The Iowa bill has limited exceptions for the life and health of the pregnant person as well as the exceptions uh, for certain survivors of rape and incest so long as the cases are reported to law enforcement authorities. It also has exceptions for fetal abnormalities abnormalities that are incompatible with life. Last month, the state Supreme Court deadlocked on, on whether to overturn a lower court's injunction against a similar 2018 version of the law. The 2018 ver- law also banned abortion after fetal cardiac activity, but a judge ruled it was unconstitutional since Roe v. Wade was still in effect. The state did not appeal the decision. After Roe was overturned last year, Reynolds tried to reinstate the law, but was blocked by a district court judge. She appealed to the Supreme Court, which deadlocked three to three, leaving the lower court's decision in place. But the deadlock meant the court did not address the underlying question of whether the abortion ban violates the state constitution. Reynolds said in a statement she would sign the bill Friday. So there goes more people's rights uh, going up in flames. I guess um, the part I'm most surprised by is because Iowa has been leaning red for a long time. I mean, you got two Republican senators, Republican governor. Uh, It really does feel like after Tom Harkin retired, it just went all red, just all all in on the red, 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 red. And let's let's not forget uh, Steve King as another bastion of conservatism with his archaic views. But I have to admit the part of this that disturbs me the most is where Reynolds says, I believe the pro-life movement is the most important human rights cause of our time. And I guess when you think about it like this, where you have all these countries that are invaded, like we, we've talked about Yemen before, where um, it was deemed as the worst humanitarian crisis in the world, um, and the U.S. for several years, five or six years, played into it uh, under both the Obama and Trump administrations, aiding Saudi Arabia and starving children to death. And it's like, you'll see, you'll, you'll hear about something like that, know what's going on, and then some, uh, an, an elected official who, the only thing I can say is she just doesn't know that's happening, has the, has the goal to say this is the most important human rights cause of their time. Not stagnant wages, not... Um, <laughs> the D plus infrastructure that we have in America where all the roads are horrible. No, just, Oh, we have to protect the unborn lives. Well, it's like, but what about the people that are here, (laughs) whether they're in America or abroad, the ones that, uh, you know, can't afford to go to school or have some, uh, lousy wage that won't, won't allow them to actually have their own place. I mean, just the, I, I, that's why I said me and these abortion people have, are always going to have a problem with each other because I, I can't imagine turning such a blind eye 
to the problems of people that already exist and then trying to sit here and play up the stuff in the womb as being the end-all be-all for you know what human lives matter 